Hi, and welcome back to my CSS tutorials. In this tutorial, I want to go ahead and create a footer for this document. And actually what I want to do is I want to create a sticky footer that always appears at the bottom of the browser window and doesn't scroll with the rest of the design. And I've gone ahead and created an image already in Photoshop for um, this footer, and we're going to go ahead and use that um, image. So let's go ahead and begin by going into the template for um, this website. And you're going to see here, we've got everything we need. And we're going to place the footer div at the very bottom. And unlike every other div in your design, this is actually going to be outside of the wrapper div. And since I'm using a CSS background image to create the footer, I'm not going to have to insert anything into um, that area there. So I'm going to go ahead and save that, and I'm going to hit Don't Update because we're going to be doing some more things a little bit later. And you're going to see here's my wrapper div right there, and you're going to see everything that's contained in the wrapper div, including the content um, div. There's the closing for the wrapper, so my footer is outside of the wrapper div, and again, that's important. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the CSS, and I'm going to create the style that's going to form the footer. So this is going to be an ID style for the footer div. And I'm going to go ahead and set three background properties. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the background image property. And when I do that, Dreamweaver gives me a chance to go into this dialog box and select the image that I wish to use. And in this case, I'm going to use footer image here. And you can kind of see a preview of it. It's just a green strip with the phone number inside of it. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and you'll see it inserted the path to that image. I'll type a semicolon, and the second um, CSS property that I'm going to use is going to be background position. And the background position that I want on this is going to be centered. I want it centered on the page. I don't want it to go left, um, left or right. And then finally, I'm going to set one more background um, property, and that's going to be the background repeat property. And I'm going to set that because, again, I don't want that to repeat. And now I'm going to come down to my next line, and we're going to go ahead and define the width and the height of the item. I'm going to say the width is 100%, and the height is going to be 40 pixels. I can set the width for 100% because the I'm using an image here, and the image is going to be centered on the page because I use the background position property center. Um, but the height does need to be specified because we won't have any content in it. So I've set the width and the height of this um, item. I also want to go ahead and do a margin statement here. I'm going to say margin 0 and auto, and that's for older um, browsers. And I'm going to go ahead and save this now. Close my style. We're still not done yet, but let's save it and let's see what we've got in our design view here. And you can see I've got the footer showing up if I look at it in live view here, but it's not fixed at the bottom of the page yet. And if I go ahead and make a change in the source code here, just like typing a space, when I save this, it's going to ask me to, if I want to update any pages that are based on this template. I'm going to say update here, and then close. And now my index file has been updated, and you'll see that footer there. Let me go ahead and save that. And we're already in live view, and you can see you know, the footer works like any other footer at this point. So in order to make that footer sticky, what we're going to go ahead and do is come back into our CSS and scroll down here um, to the footer, um, footer, oops, scroll down here to the footer div, and I'm going to add a couple more properties here. The first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to make the position of this element, I'm going to set the positioning of this element to fixed. And basically what that means is this element should float outside of um, the document structure. 
it shouldn't be affected by any other divs. It's like lifting things out of, out of your um, design. And since I set the positioning as fixed, I can now set the top, bottom, left, or right properties. And what I want to do is I want to set the bottom property. And I'm going to say I want the bottom of this div to be zero pixels from the bottom of the browser window. And again, because this div is not contained in any other div, it will go out to the next tag, which would be the body tag, or its next parent tag, which would be the um, body tag. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And um, we're going to look at our index there, and you can see the result. My footer is now sticky. It's not scrolling with the rest of the design. So that's how you do a sticky footer in CSS.